Hello students. Now we will read the lesson 5 challenges faced by Indian democracy of class 10th civics book of Maharashtra board. This video is made for students who want to read the book by listening. So let's start. As we have said earlier, democracy is a continuous living process. Mere adoption of democracy does not bring democracy into practice. Alert and conscious efforts are required to sustain democracy. It is necessary to understand treats to democracy in time and deal with them in democratic manner. In this chapter, we will primarily focus on challenges before democracy in India. But before that, let us have a look at challenges before democracy at the global level. Today, every nation in the world claims to be democratic, but in reality, very few nations in the world have democrat democracy that protects the rights and freedom of people and gives priority to the welfare of people. Many democracies are facing the challenge of military takeover, spread of democratic values at the global level and adoption of true democracy by all nations is a major challenge at global level. Which democratic institutions need to be established for transformation from non-democratic system to a democratic system? Democratic values are found to be very weak even in those nations where democracy appears to be deep-rooted. In nations like India, democracy appears in the form of voting elections, governmental structure, judiciary, etc. However, this is only a political form of democracy. To become a way of life, democracy must be practiced in each and every aspect of social life. Several measures such as inclusion of all social components, autonomy, to social institutions, empowerment of citizens, protection of human values need to be adopted for real cultivation of democracy. Can you tell in democracy to get power, political parties contest elections? But do political parties organize internal elections? It is necessary that political parties should hold elections at the organizational level. Are such elections held? Questions in my mind. China adopted economic reforms and also become a member of the World Trade Organization. But China continues to have a one-party system. Is China a dem de democratic nation? Another challenge before democratic nations is to ensure that democracy becomes deep-rooted. Freedom, equality, fraternity and justice, peace, development and humanitarianism are the values that should be practiced at all levels of the society. The mass support for this purpose can be gathered only through democratic means. Challenges before Indian democracy To make democracy more meaningful, the government of India decentralized power and adopted the policy of reservation for women and weak sections of the society. But we should think whether such measures really gave power in the hands of citizens. Communis communalism and terrorism, religious conflict and the re resultant terrorism is one of the major challenges before Indian democracy. Social stability gets hampered due to increased religious hostility. People's participation in democratic process reduces to a great extent due to terrorism. 
left extremist nationalism nationalism is a major problem in india nationalism began as a movement to remove injustice against aggressive landless farmers and tribal people but today nationalism has become a violent struggle in the nationalite movement the important importance of the problems of farmers and tribal people has reduced instead violent measures to oppose the government policies attacking the poli police forces and other and such other tactics are used by the nationalite groups then corruption in india the extent of corruption is extent of corruption is said to be very high in the public sector government's working capacity is reduced to due to corruption at the political and administrative levels people develop distrust and dissatisfaction about the entire governmental system due to delay in governmental work poor public services and facility facilities and different financial blunders corruption in the electoral process bogus voting bribing the voters abducting the voters and such other things reduce reduces people's confidence in the democratic process what do you think family monopoly in policies politics is a major problem before democracy in india monopoly of just one family in politics reduces democratic space common people cannot participate in the public sector criminalization of politics increased participation of criminals in political process is another serious problem for democratic systems sometimes political parties give candidature to people having a criminal background facing criminal allegations and allegations of corruption this increases the role of money and muscle power in politics this may also lead to violence during elections social challenges apart from the challenges mentioned above indian democracy faces other social challenges the problems like unemployment unequal distribution of resources increasing gap between rich and poor caste based issues need to be resolved what steps should be taken to make indian democracy successful majority opinion has a lot of importance in democracy in a democracy political party getting majority of votes comes to power parliament takes all decisions by majority democracy aims at a, at the welfare of majority of people when the importance is given to majority it is possible that injustice may be done to those who are marginal and who are in minority though democracy is a government by majority minorities should also be included in the process of decision making it is the duty of government to take into consideration the interests of minorities in short in democratic government everyone's opinion should be considered important similarly majority government should not be the government of majority community all religious linguistic ethnic and caste groups should get equal opportunity to participate in the decision making process second judiciary in india is seen to be making conscious efforts to make political process transparent to prevent criminalization of politics judiciary has adopted measures like strict punishment to criminals and prohibiting criminals from participating in political process to make democracy successful in india it is not just sufficient to make efforts at the level of government administration and judiciary everyone at social and individual level should make conscious efforts towards it sarva shiksha abhiyan 
स्वच्छ भारत अभियान ग्राम समृद्धि योजना सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी स्कीम एंड सच अदर प्रोजेक्ट्स आर अंडरटेकन एट द लेवल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टू इंक्रीज पॉलिटिकल पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ वुमेन फिफ्टी परसेंट सीट्स आर कैप्ट रिजर्व इन लोकल सेल्फ गवर्निंग इंस्टीट्यूशन स्वच्छ भारत एक कदम स्वच्छता की ओर फोर्थ टू मेक इंडियन डेमोक्रेसी ट्रूली सक्सेसफुल इट इज एसेंशियल टू इंक्रीज पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ पीपल एट ऑल लेवल्स इफ सच पार्टिसिपेशन इंक्रीजेस स्पेशली एट द लेवल ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इट विल हेल्प इन चेंजिंग पब्लिक पॉलिसीज पब्लिक पॉलिसीज आर मेड थ्रू इंट्रैक्शन विद द पीपल इंट्रैक्शन विद दो who are not in power is also important for the success of democracy the values of equality liberty social justice secularism should be respected and implemented even in our personal life for the success of democracy everyone should keep in mind that we are responsible citizen of the nation so this is the lesson thank you for listening If you like the video click on like button share with your friends subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get updates on similar videos when comes thank you and happy learning